Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is brought to you by Door Hair. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing this wavy textured wig and I'm gonna show you guys the unboxing first, everything that came in the box. And I'm gonna show you guys how the inside of the cap and everything looks and then we will get into the review. And before we do that, shout out to my Premiere Squad who are watching with me right now. And if you wanna be a part of Premiere Squad, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and you should be notified every time that I do a premiere. So let's get into the review. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me again. And this is the last time you see me with this same makeup with this dark lip, but this dark lip is fire. If you're wondering what it is, I'll put it in the description box for you guys. So, from the title of the video and then the intro with the unboxing, you guys saw that this wig, this video is brought to you by Door Hair. Oh, this is the first time I'm working with this company. So this is their pre-plucked um, natural hairline, natural wave. This is a natural wave. It's a 13 by six lace front wig. Um, it's Brazilian human hair. Natural color, 180% density, 20 inches long, and it's a medium sized cap. It's glueless, and it does have combs and adjustable straps in it. But you guys saw the construction already. So, this is what she looks like after she's been washed. Now, with my curly wigs, I prefer, I don't really like that super wet look. I, I've tried it before, I don't know if it's, I just don't prefer that look. I like my wigs to look fluffy. I like that fluffy look. Um, so I, I tend to let my wigs air dry. I might spray it down just to give it some direction, but I don't try to wet it down completely because I don't like, I don't like that super wet look. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on because I don't think I've tried this on at all yet. Ooh, okay. Now this is a medium cap and it's fitting pretty well. Uh, the lace does go all the way to my ear and I have a 23 inch circumference head and with most medium sized caps, they are 22.5, which is fine. It's not usually necessary for me to go up to a large. Okay, these curls are beautiful and I definitely wanted some curly human hair wigs in my collection because the last one that I had that was so beautiful I over bleached the knots so I went ahead and sold that one but I didn't bleach the knots at all on this one it's laying pretty flat to my head I think the hairline does look like it's pre-plucked I try to wear it as a like a flip over look because I just think that's Sexy, I'm gonna have to fluff this out because I don't want it to be like too flat. Um, we'll see how we're gonna do this. Okay, before you, this is all fast forwarded and stuff, I just wanna say like, shout out to Door Hair because this hairline is not just straight across. They got a lot of different like undulations and, and stuff with this hairline. It's got curves and dips in it. And most hairlines that I get are gonna be kind of rounded. So it kind of contours to fit a hairline more realistically. So that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and start fast forwarding. I'm gonna fast forward this part. All right, for the rest of this video, it is going to be a voiceover. So I took the black bottle of Got To Be Glued to um, adhere the hairline down. I just took the back part of a rat tooth or rat tail comb and I put that on my edges and then I used a blow dryer to tack that down. And when I started to tack it down, I started to notice that the hairline looked thicker than I initially thought it had breathed. So I did decide to tweeze a lot from this hairline to make it look more natural. I had to be true to my own hairline. My hairline is not like super dense all the way across. It's like lighter or thinner in the front and then my hair gradually gets more full. So I wanted the 
hairline to reflect that. You'll see I'm going to have like some baby hairs laid down and I'm even going to have, you know, powder and stuff on the lace. It's just going to look weird. Like I think baby hairs look good on curly hair, but when the hairline, the way this hairline was looking, it just didn't look right with the baby hair. So I decided to have like the front part of my hairline really clean. So I did uh, take away some hair. If you're not comfortable or or you're not that experienced with tweezing your hairlines, I would not suggest like, you know, tweezing that much from your hairline because it's possible to over tweeze. Um, yeah, but I feel like doing that made it work out for me a lot better. And it just looks more like my forehead, which is super big and it's not a whole bunch of hair at the front. So uh, the hair itself is very beautiful. I definitely uh, prefer a tighter curl, but this is a wave. So if you want a wave, that kind of look, then go for this. But if you want something tighter, uh, definitely go for like a like a Brazilian curl or something like that. Um, I didn't have too many issues with shedding or tangling yet, but I might eventually. Um, overall, I think this is pretty. Um, it just took a little bit of customizing, especially with the hairline, but overall, I think this is very pretty. And if you are interested in this hair from Door Hair, you can just pick it up on their website. I'll have links and everything in the description box for you guys. Shout out to them for sponsoring this video and shout out to my Premiere Squad for supporting my channel and live chatting with me. Um, if you would like to be a part of Premiere Squad, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and you'll, you should get notifications every time that I do an upload and stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.